I'm too invested. I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions. Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode of the Thanksgiving planning series. Today I'm going to show you how I'm prepping for Thanksgiving during the week leading up to Thanksgiving Day, as well as my schedule on Thanksgiving Day itself. If you haven't seen the two episodes before this, I'll go ahead and leave a link for you in the description so you can check those out. This week is where all of that prep work that you did in your planner really pays off. First, I'm going to write out my Thanksgiving schedule in my planner, taking into consideration how long it's going to take to cook each item and what needs to be prepared on that day. Any prep work that I can do, I will try to do beforehand. Then I'm going to reference this kitchen tool sheet that I made previously and pull out any bowls or platters, trays that I'm going to need and get those washed. I'll also pull out any tablecloths that I need and if those need to be washed, then I'll wash those. I'll also be setting up the tables like the buffet table, the drink table, the desserts table, as well as where everyone's eating and decorate them and get them ready to go. And I'm going to be making room in my fridge. So maybe that means eating the item. If it's too old, throw it out or give it away to someone because I need to make space in my fridge in order to fit everything for Thanksgiving day. You also want to thaw the turkey. So for me, I'm going to be thawing it about four days before. And about two days before, I'll be purchasing all of the perishable items from my grocery list. The celery, the broccoli, the cauliflower, the rolls, the cream, etc. The day before, I'm going to reference this table layout as I set the table for each guest. How can you be trusted? Will you take me for and I'll reference this buffet table sheet so I know where each of the dishes should go. For example, the turkey is going next to the green bean casserole on the table. So I can set out the dishes beforehand and get everything ready to go. I'm also going to start chilling all the items I'm going to need the day before. So that's all of the relish tray items like the olives, the pickles, any drinks that I'm serving. I'll need to make sure that I make enough ice to serve to the guests or if you aren't able to make ice, maybe you'll need to go out and buy some ice. I'll need to prepare the deviled eggs, the cranberry sauce, bake the cornbread, and prepare the Thanksgiving balls and put those in the fridge. Now don't tell me it's over. really important to be flexible and consult your planner. So for example, if you have an event the day before and you aren't able to set the table or put the dishes out on the buffet table the day before, you can just do that either two days before or whatever works with your schedule. Thanksgiving is going to start a lot earlier this year for my family because some of them need to leave a little bit on the early side so we're going to be eating at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to need to wake up around 6 a.m., get ready for the day, take a shower, and then at 8 o'clock I'll start the turkey in the oven. At 8.45 I'm going to prepare the relish tray and put it in the fridge. At 9 I'll plug in the crock pots. We have about 5 dishes this year that are going to be served in crock pots just because there's not enough room in the oven to fit everything. I only own one oven. At 9.30 a.m. I'll finish assembling the deviled eggs. At 10 a.m. I'll get dressed and then at 11.15 I'll start making the tea, turning the music on, and I'm planning to have the guests arrive at 11.30 a.m. <laughs> I won't be putting things in the oven until 12.15, so that includes the stuffing, the green bean casserole, the sweet potato casserole, and the roasted cauliflower. The turkey will be carved at 12.30, and the rolls will go in the oven at 12.45. 
At 12.45, I'll start taking the items out of the fridge. The broccoli salad, the cranberry sauce, the relish tray, the deviled eggs. And then one o'clock, we can eat. At 3.30, I'm going to start preparing coffee and then serve dessert at four o'clock. Now, these are not hard times. This is just a general recommendation of what time to start things at. Obviously, on the day of, not everything is gonna go perfectly, and I definitely recognize that. But it really helps me to have some sort of guideline to follow, so I know approximately what time things need to be done. Let me know if you feel this way too down in the comments below. But when I feel organized and prepared, things just seem to go so much more smoothly. And that's really what drew me to the planner community in the first place. I really hope that you found at least some of these ideas both practical and useful in hosting future parties, and that they allow you to spend more time with your friends and family members, which is really what this is all about. I'll see you soon. Bye. And you're off my radar now